this uh, sandstone uh, which represents migrating dunes deposited on onto the side of it so they must be the youngest thing or one of the youngest things in the crater within that sandstone we find uh, these structures which cross cut them which are evidence of water so they must be one of the youngest things to happen in the crater which therefore means we have these structures which were formed by water are one of the latest things in the crater therefore there must have been water more recently uh, in, within the crater than we previously thought. You understand that there was water sort of in Mars's early history, but then as you go sort of from the start of the Hesperian, so 3.7 billion years ago towards 3 billion years ago, Mars dried out. And that's round about the same time that life evolved on Earth. And we think that's round about the same time that life could have um, existed on, on Mars as well. And what we found by looking at these rocks is that there was, there was abundant water on the surface of Mars much later than we expected. Similar conditions existed on Mars at the same time as that on Earth. And it would be reasonable to believe that life would potentially evolve on Mars, but then it would need more time uh, to sort of evolve into a state where it could leave a leave a um, impression in the rock record. And by us identifying this water late in, later in Gale Crater's infill in history, it pushes back that that window where the opportunity that life could evolve and be preserved in the rock record. <laughs>